So whether you know this or not, every online successful business wants what's called a positive user experience. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you're going to go ahead and put ads on your website from an affiliate, whether it's Williams-Sonoma or Best Buy, Amazon, Macy's, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't it make sense to target those ads for the user's experience? So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to share it with you on my Curated Chef's recipe store exactly how I do this. You'll have access to a premium plugin called Ads Pro that would typically, if you have five or more sites, would easily cost you the other side of $500 for the year to own this plugin. You get this plugin with your subscription to my turnkey website, as well as over $1,200 worth of premium plugins that I handpicked. So let me share with you what I'm talking about. And I think you'll really enjoy this experience. So here I'm on my Roberts Curated Recipe website. And here is an ad, I'm sorry, here is a video post for Gordon Ramsay. So if the person comes to my website from, let's say I posted this on Facebook, they come here, they click on this, and they want to watch this video recipe from Gordon Ramsay. Now let's think about the psychology here. If they're a fan of Gordon Ramsay, then they're probably a fan of his products or his suggested products. So up pops a dynamically niche ad for that particular product. And this all gets served up from Amazon as well. And I have back-end videos that will share with you how this is done. So if I scroll down to the bottom, I have, here's the video to watch. And then I have a link. Thanks for watching Gordon Ramsay video. I also have another premium plugin called Thirsty Affiliates. It's a great, it's one of my favorite plugins of all time that you have access to. So what it does, it basically you define a keyword. So in this particular case, I define the keyword Gordon Ramsay. So anytime I import a video that has the word Gordon Ramsay in here, it's gonna automatically hyperlink this and this goes to Gordon Ramsay's recipes. In this particular case, this will go to Gordon Ramsay products on YouTube. I'm sorry, on Amazon. So again, I want you to understand the psychology here, okay? Now, people are probably not as averse to clicking on a banner ad as they are. I have much better success when they click on a hyperlink because it's non-threatening, it's information. So again, this automatically links based on the keywords that you set up in the back end of your WordPress site. I use something called Thirsty Affiliates, which you have have access to. So if I click right here, this is gonna go to Amazon and bring up Gordon Ramsay product. So how cool is that? So if you're a fan of Gordon Ramsay, you probably wanna get his books, his recipe books, his maybe the equipment or the pots and pans or the air fryer that he uses, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you take somebody like Emeril Agassi, Emeril Agassi has his whole entire section on Amazon. So what you're doing here is I'm writing the coattails of success to people that already have a following. Rachel Ray, Emeril Agassi, Wolfgang Puck, that's working smart. So basically you're driving traffic here. Now these are more generic Amazon ads and again, they're pulled up based on the experience. So if I come up here to say Bobby Flay lunch, I have this targeted to bring up Bobby Flay videos and more importantly, Bobby Flay products. So here's Bobby Flay season 20 from Amazon, okay? So if I click on the actual Bobby Flay lunch recipe, you'll see that I now have access to Bobby Flay three-piece stainless steel mixing bowl. Now, for those of you that are new to affiliate sales and marketing, I want to share something with you. Perhaps many of you don't know what I'm about to share with you. If you're an affiliate, once your website triggers that affiliate, it could be Williams Sonoma, it could be Best Buy, it could be Dick Sporting because it doesn't matter. The only difference is different affiliates have a time period of how long they're going to pay out once somebody adds something to the cart. So here's what I mean by this. Let's say somebody went to Amazon to buy a Bobby Flay product. They put it in their cart, but they didn't buy today. In fact, they got distracted. They got a Zoom call. The dogs are, need to be walked. They got a phone call, whatever. It doesn't matter. In fact, they go on vacation for three weeks. They forgot all about your niche site. They come back from vacation. They go on Amazon, and that product is still in their cart from three weeks ago. Now they decide to buy an iPhone or a coffee or it doesn't matter. 
you get credit for everything. Now, Amazon has 90 days of this. Depending on the affiliate, Amazon, Best Buy, they all have different 30 days, 90 days, six months. It doesn't matter. But once they put it in their cart, you will still get credit for that. And then when they go back to purchase that, anything else they add to their cart, you're going to credit. So how cool is that? Again, I'm a lazy person. I don't want to own product. You know, everybody talks about Shopify. Oh, I'm, a, I'm with a Shopify guru. He's going to tell me the best-selling product. It's all nonsense. You know why? Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, they will tell you their best-selling products. It's not rocket science. If you type into Amazon, best-selling yoga pants, they will tell you what their best-selling yoga pants is. If you type into Amazon or Best Buy or Walmart, best-selling treadmill, they will tell you what the best-selling treadmill is. That's what you want to put on your website. Why? For selfish reasons. Amazon, Best Buy, they're all selfish companies. Because if you're making money, they're making money. They don't want you to post the, cra the crap on their website. They want you to post things that are going to sell. So you can go into any of these affiliate programs and type in the word Best Selling X, Best Selling Coffee Makers, Best Selling Air Fryers. And that's what you want to put on your store, but you don't use those products to market. You use videos from YouTube to market. So again, it's working smart. So my pro ad plugin will automatically do this for you. It will bring up content based on what you're trying to serve up. Now I use that in conjunction with another plugin. So let me share with you what I'm talking about. Now WordPress works with called widgets and I use this absolutely amazing magazine theme. It's one of my all time favorites that you have access to. Now you have access to a bunch of different themes, but I like this theme the best because it converts, it loads fast and it looks great on mobile. So you'll notice that I have a bunch of ads here. Now these ads don't all appear at the same time. That would be very foolish. You're just going to piss people off if you present them with too many ads. So what I use is something called Thrive Widget Display Options. So this is a Bobby Flay post ad. So if I click right here, I can basically just serve up this ad when somebody interacts with Bobby Flay. So in the back end, I simply target using the Thrive theme option that you'll have access to, I pulled out all the bells and whistles. Again, it took me a year and a half of my time to build out this platform and perfect it, but I'm constantly updating better and newer plugins. I'm here to help you every step of the way. But again, like I said many times before, nothing happens if you choose to do nothing. So if you want the O word, the opportunity to work smart the right way, here's how it's done. So before I go, let me share with you how this is done inside the Thrive theme widget option. So in the back end here, I would simply click on categories and then from categories, select the category that I want to be in. In this particular case, Bobby Flay. And you'll see that I have checked off Bobby Flay desserts, shop, breakfast, dinner, et cetera, et cetera. So that means that that ad based on the user interaction will only show up when they're in that particular category and that my friends creates a positive user experience and that's working smart so again let's think about this for a second if you're a fan of rachel ray or any celebrity chef or, or fitness guru etc cetera, etc cetera, you probably want to support their product line so therefore you can serve up ads based on that video and that my friends is 100 percent working smart online and that's what i'm all about so again thank you for being here and i will talk to you soon